on Let's Play Lender. But first, a joke to set the tone. When is a mortgage not a mortgage? When it's a deed of trust, of course. Allow me to explain. When we talk about a mortgage, we're usually referencing the debt tied to the home or property, its balance and payment. But technically, that's incorrect. If you signed for a mortgage before, you know there's a mound of paper, and the document tied to the debt is actually the note, aka the promise to pay. You may hear the title agent summarize this doc as, you pay, you stay, and if you don't, you won't. It's only a few pages long, but it defines the terms of the loan and what happens when it's not paid as agreed. It's the debt that's actually used to finance the real estate, either to purchase or refinance. So, what is a mortgage? Since we're playing lender today, it's basically the way lenders securitize the debt against the property. Expect to sign one at closing alongside the note. Technically, the mortgage is actually one way to securitize the debt against the collateral, the real estate. The mortgage works like a contract containing all the terms and conditions, including the repayment and upkeep of the property. But not every state signs a mortgage. In fact, only 16 of them do. Most other states sign this sister document known as the Deed of Trust. Then there are nine other states that make it possible to sign either. Let's explain the two formats so we're all on the same sheet of music. A Deed of Trust and a mortgage are both used to securitize a loan in real estate, but they differ in their legal structure and the parties involved. In a mortgage agreement, there are typically two parties involved, the borrower or mortgagor and the lender, the mortgagee. The borrower signs a promissory note, which is a promise to repay the loan amount plus interest. Now the mortgage itself is a separate document that pledges the property as collateral for the loan. If the borrower fails to repay the loan, the lender can foreclose on the property and sell it to recover the debt. But in a deed of trust agreement, there are actually three parties involved. The borrower or trustor, the lender or beneficiary, and a neutral third party known as the trustee. The borrower signs a promissory note similar to a mortgage arrangement, promising to repay the loan. Now, instead of a mortgage, a deed of trust is used to securitize the loan. This deed transfers legal title of the property to the trustee, who holds it until the loan is paid off. If the borrower defaults on the loan, the trustee has the authority to initiate the foreclosure process, sell the property, and use the proceeds to repay the lender. The key differences are, remember, your title agent saying, you pay, you stay, and you don't, you own. Well, what happens when you have to foreclose? In a mortgage, the lender typically needs to go through the court system to foreclose on the property. In a deed of trust agreement, the trustee has the power to initiate foreclosure without court involvement, which can make the process faster and more efficient. There's also a big difference in title. In a mortgage, legal title remains with the borrower until the loan's repaid. In a deed of trust, legal title is transferred to the trustee or the duration of the loan. You do not get to choose which to sign. That's left to state laws and practices. Some states primarily use mortgages, while others primarily use deeds of trust. Here's a general overview. States that primarily use deeds of trust. California, for example. Deeds of trust are commonly used in California for real estate transactions. In fact, most of the West Coast and Mountain West states use a deed of trust. Then there are states like Texas where deeds of trust are prevalent for real estate transactions. On to the states that primarily use mortgages, New York State. In most of the Midland, mortgages are more commonly used in New York for securing real estate loans. Then there's Florida, where mortgages are the typical method of securing real estate loans. In Illinois, mortgages are the standard method but is one of the states that can use both. Now here are a list of all the states that use mortgages. Connecticut, 
Delaware, Florida, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Louisiana, New Jersey, New York, North Dakota, Oklahoma, Pennsylvania, South Carolina, Vermont, and Wisconsin. Both are recognized and fundamentally have the same structure, as long as you pay. When you don't or cannot, that's when it becomes important because they'll have specific requirements, procedures, and a process to execute a foreclosure. Often I get asked, are title and the deed the same thing? No, they're not, because the deed shows the transfer of title from one person to another. The title reflects ownership. The deed gives a person a right to claim ownership of the property, but it's the people holding title that are the actual owners. It works along the same line when you go buy a car with a loan. Yes, the car is registered in your name, but you can't sell it without having title. It's only after you pay off the debt that you receive title. Likewise, in real estate, if you have the deed, you can act as the owner, make improvements, put bigger wheels on it, occupy it, but the owner keeps the title until it's fully purchased. Until the person with the deed fully buys the property, you don't have title. Now, that's what I call being well-versed. So next time someone brings up the term mortgage, you can afford to keep your nose in the air. You can tell the difference. Until next time, stay tuned. Hit it, boys.